All right, so this here is just a test because I'm trying to figure out a method in order to um, be able to hold the screen and watch my screen and still be able to record for you guys. And I think that I figured it out. I'm just hoping that the voice option is working fine. If not, um, then I will come back and redo this uh, particular little level. So let's go ahead and save. And we're going to keep going. Fight this guy here. And now we're at the door that we wanted to be at. Um, we also, when we were over here, this is here. So we had a question mark up on the top screen. Hmm, how am I going to show you guys that? Let me see if I can just go like this. There we go. That works pretty easy. So we're going to change over to our cat. And press any button. And we want to make it disappear. So now that we've made it disappear, we can now go through this bottom piece and we can open up this treasure chest. Yay, it's one of the power chargers again. We should start getting the heart refills pretty soon too. So, now that we did that, I'm going to go ahead and bring the screen down here and take the question mark away and we're going to keep going. Now, looking here, I noticed that we, um, actually let me switch it to here and just zoom in for you. We're missing one chest here. So, just to be official, let's go find that chest before we continue. We know it's not down here, because we just got the chest out of there. I'm thinking it's probably in that top area that we didn't go through a second ago. So we're just going to backtrack a bit. And we'll go check out the other side of this tree. And see if that's where the chest is. Change to our caterpillar. Zoom up. Okay. Change to our rabbit. And rewind. Go this way. And up. Let's not forget Alice. Hop across. Kill the bad guy. Roll and attack. Okay. So Alice didn't follow with me, but she's too far on the screen. Instead of going back, I can just press her pause button there and it changes to a play. And she follows us. <clears throat> save point here okay so this was the area if you remember from before whoop, this is um, where the uh, puzzle piece was that she got that we had to do all that pause and play stuff. So this isn't where that last one is. So um, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about this, was this the board <coughs> where I couldn't figure out how to get that one puzzle piece at the beginning of this board? Is that where where it was? 
where all those topsy-turvy twisty things were. I don't know, but let's go have a look to be sure. There's not that much further to go and we would have covered the entire board, so it's not too big of a deal, right? Take a couple minutes and do it right. So, <clears throat> we're back up to where we started, so we must have missed a little direction somewhere here. Okay, we don't want to do that, so we need to jump across. Before we go that way, we're going to go and finish checking out this side. So we just didn't come all the way in this direction. Silly, silly. So let's change to the Mad Hatter and do a reverse button. And there is that other chest that we were missing. And that's our life charger. Good thing we came back for that one, eh, guys? All right. <clears throat> so go back over here use the Mad Hatter's ability and now we're gonna go completely all the way across onto the other side of the board in order to get that back now I'm trying to think of which way would be the fastest and I think going through the top direction and going across that bridge that we just went through might actually be the faster way out of them. If you think the other way is faster, then by all means, guys, go the other way. <laughs> it really doesn't matter as long as we get to that door, right? save that too bad there isn't like a run feature for your character when you just want to get to a door can't just make them like book it <laughs> would be nice instead of this slow dilly dally pace but I guess I'm just impatient that way
art. So we're getting closer to the door. And I need to pay attention to my DS screen instead of if I'm at the 15 minute mark. We still got another five minutes. All right. It's the good thing about these monsters is unless you're fighting the vortex vortex guys, there's no way to actually like die die. Just keeps bringing you back. <coughs> so, I guess it's really your character can't die, just Alice can, and if she dies, then it's game over. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So in this board, we have zero puzzle piece, one armor in this board, and five chests. So we really want to make sure that we find that armor. Because if you do not find the armor, you cannot continue at the end of the game. All right, so this is the cat's ability, which I don't believe that we've learned yet, have we? No, we don't have the cat's abilities and we don't have the hatter's abilities yet. So this is an area that we are gonna wanna come back to once we get the cat ability. I like his little roll. It's kind of like this little prancy dance. <laughs> Tiptoe little dance. Alright, so this is kind of interesting. It's spinning all over the place, but he can't do anything. Well, you see the purple, so you know he can do something. So let's just pause the hurricane. Nah, something. There we go. Now we can jump up. Jump up and keep going. Another safe spot. So we have two options here. We've got a down or the up. So here We've got the purple, we need to get this bricks up to here. So we'll try the rewind, and now it fixes the bridge. We can't go any further down that way, but we can check out this vortex. <coughs> Which is perfect, because it brings us into that little hidden bottom piece. Can't go that way. And we want to float to the top. Alright, so here there's the cat piece. So we want it to disappear so that we can walk through. <coughs> Just fall, don't worry about it. Open up the chest. Wow, it's the Mad Hatter's fighting ability. See, fighting ability. So same thing, when we hit it three times, we're going to see the two red exclamation marks appear. Press any button, and it makes your enemy tiny. That one's kind of cool. Alright, so now we want to go back through the vortex. And we're going to go up this time. Jump over. And bring Alice with you. And keep going to the left.
All right, so we're going to change to our caterpillar. Press any button. We're going to go up for a minute. And we're going to go see what is up in this little hidden corner piece. All right, so purple means that we need him. So let's try fast forward. Nothing happens. Rewind. Nothing happens. Pause. All right, let's try that again. Fast forward. Play. All right. Rewind. I remember when I did this one, it was really weird because I had to press the buttons like a couple different times. Why is this beeping at me? Uh, just to tell us we learned the ability. 